I just want to talk because I'm just like the last video I recorded I'm like I'm monetized you know I got over 2k subscribers it's time to eat it's time to get these videos out of there left right left right and I ain't post nothing since but it wasn't like that back when I met her. But it wasn't like that back when I met her. But it wasn't like that back when I met her. But it wasn't like that back when I met her. But it wasn't like that back when I met her. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sheena Legal, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, so. Hold on, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Zooming out, y'all, literally. I got y'all props on a box. I don't know what Mariah did with my tripod, but we're not gonna let that hold us back. Okay, so speaking of holding back, y'all, where have I been? Like, where have I been? So, Y'all, I almost said vlogging is hard, and it's it's not hard. YouTubing is not hard, y'all. Um, hold on, let me give y'all a little background on my hair. <laughs> so I didn't record a video before this one. I might put it out. I might put this one out first. I'm not sure. Huh? Did you want you to grow that's behind the top? Yeah, for a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay, so like, oh, uh, I might put out that it's like a little vlog. I didn't even really end it, but I might just put it out anyways. Um, literally, y'all. I guess. Okay, let me let me get on my hair first. So, y'all, which I don't like. Well, I said that to say I don't know if that that vlog will come out before this one or not. Um. Or if I'm just going to post this one first. Because this is literally just going to be me talking to y'all. Connecting with y'all and all of that. So I just want to explain what's going on with my hair. So I had. I've got tired of the wigs. Like I'm really not a wig person. Um, so after I got those. Them singlets twisted one time. And then after that. I tried the wigs. Because um, if anybody been following me. I always complain of me burning my leave out out like i was because i always wear a side part and i always uh have to flat out my leave out because my hair is so curly y'all my leave out had got so before i got those twists the seagless twists if you go back a couple of bit some videos you'll see um my leave out was like this little i mean she barely could grip it to put a twist in this area like the rest of my hair is long and curly but my leave out was so small so i was like okay the um twist will help grow it i won't have to put no heat on my hair because usually in the past i legit used to just move my part from this side to this side i never wear a middle part because of my forehead or whatever so that's usually what i do so like i was like okay let me get these twists Ooh, excuse me and the twists you know they worked but they were so small i wanted to get my wear and my money out of them but as they grew up the weight from the twist had caused them to start popping or pulling out my hair or whatever. So, um, after I took the twist down, I'm like, okay, now my hair is, it grew my leave out some uh, after the twist, but my hair was like a little bit thinner or whatever. So, I was like, okay, I don't, I'm not liking this. And then plus my leave out wasn't, it didn't grow that much or whatever. Because like when I was wearing my sew-ins, legit it was a burly covering the track like i should have recorded myself doing my hair like this y'all i always do my own sewings i've been doing it since i was in junior high no since i was in high school but i've been doing my hair since i was in junior high i've been doing hair since i was in junior high. but like legit my my leave out used to be so short it don't grow now majorly but it used to be so short it used to barely come over so i used to have the glue tracks in between my leave out which was also causing it to be more thinner with me putting the glue in there but uh yeah so like i went to the wig i was like okay that'll give my uh leave out a rest 
which it did because you know it'd be braided under wigs but that was my first time getting a wig uh my beautician she glued it on it lasted but as it when it got older it started sliding and guess what it started pulling my edges that i already have a big forehead like i don't need nothing pulling my edges out so the wig kind of pulled my edges out the first time but the wig was so cute so i decided to go get another one and that second one did it for me i'm like nah I can't use no more glue. So y'all see me, I was putting on my hair, I mean, I was doing my wigs glueless. I was just doing it myself, doing it myself. But I really was tired of the wigs and having to reapply it. I'm like, I, I want my sew-in back. So I ended up um, doing me a sew-in, probably been up about a week now. And um, my leave I did grow, but I was like, I wanna give my edges a rest. Even though they were glueless, I was using the spray. I feel like my edges still wasn't getting a rest or whatever so that's how i wore it y'all probably seen my video on instagram very very cute but like my hair is naturally oily so i noticed like um it looked like my hair is getting thinner or whatever it's not as fluffy so when i got home from work today all that to say when i got home from work today i just washed my leave out and i took a nap so it's dry down and y'all see me i just calmed down so i'm finna get a flat iron it so that's why it's looking like this Okay, back to the story. But anyway, as I flat out my hair, I just wanna talk. Because I'm just like, the last video I recorded, I'm like, I'm monetized. You know, I got over 2K subscribers. It's time to eat. It's time to get these videos out of there, left, right, left, right. And I ain't post nothing since. Nothing. Y'all, I was so amped up and so ready I legitimate was I'm I legitimate is like I ain't gonna say I was I am I'm like ready to get my channel off the ground I know my potential I know my potential and I ain't post nothing because it's like yeah I don't know I don't know I, I, I watched some of my old videos and you know I like them or whatever I like them but it's like I just feel like sometimes I'm too influenced by other YouTubers. Like, I love watching YouTube. But when you watch YouTube and you are a YouTuber or, you know, making content and all that, sometimes people get influenced, which is fine. But I feel like I get too influenced sometimes by watching other YouTubers. And then I feel like I know, because sometimes me... In order to encourage myself, I go back to, it. for the people who don't delete their first videos, I go back to their first videos and be like, look, Sheena, they weren't always riding in this car. They weren't always got, they haven't always had this latest camera. You know, they haven't always been able to go on these trips every other week or every other month. You know what I'm saying? So, it's levels to it, but I know I get this discouraged sometimes and if i'm not discouraged i get influenced and it's like i'm making my content like other people and i'm not bringing out that true sheena if i'm making sense so i was just like man i just did like some self-reflection like sheena you ain't posted nothing and i'm and, and this me just talking to myself I'm like well i ain't doing nothing i don't want to bore out my subscribers you know when you have all these other YouTubers who been in the game, you know, creating this content. They got drones. They got, they got, they want the trips. I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to work. I'm taking care of the kids. I'm cooking in the kids. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing nothing. And then at the same time, yes, I am. Because like, I know some people who ain't even where I'm at now on my channel. Like, I feel like my channel slowed down because I slowed down. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, Sheena, quit comparing. Everybody has their own time. You just have to keep going. Like, that's literally what I'm telling myself or whatever. Keep going. Like, I come too far to stop. And that's exactly what I did. I stopped. Not because I don't want to do YouTube. I stopped because I'm like... Getting to, I'm comparing myself too much to other YouTubers. And we ain't even in the same, you know, league. Like, I need to be tunnel vision. 
So I was looking and I know a lot of YouTubers do the same thing, but it's one YouTuber and she's very popular, Glamazon Tay. And despite of her, Glamazon Tay, Chelsea, Janae, both of them, like literally, lately been inspiring the heck out of me because when I tell you when they, in Dominique A, when I tell you they drop videos left, right, left, right, left, right, they're so successful and growing so much because they are shooting out their content and I love it. I'm like, golly, because I was looking today, you know, at the travel vlog, like that's something that I need to do, I want to do for myself. It might not be to the... What is it? What is everybody going to the Mendeeves? It might not be to the Bahamas. It might not be. I don't know where my trip gonna be, but I have to take me a solo trip. That's gonna be literally creating content, spending time with myself, you know, and you know, just giving back to myself. Um, even though I would love, y'all know me, I love to go on vacation too, but I, I wish I'm gonna do that as well. But like, I really want to do a self vacation so location or whatever they call it and not to compare myself into what others doing i just need time to reflect on myself you know and see what i'm capable of and see you know and do my content y'all was watching glamour glamour tame she went on a trip while she was on a trip like she was taking her photos she was vlogging she had did a outfit video and then she backed out and dropped another video today on a solo trip because it started as a group trip, went to a solo trip, she bam, more content. Like, that's goals. That's goals right there. So, my goals and influenced by other, that I want to, the, the part that I want to be influenced by other influences is throwing that content out. Like, I, I want to be myself though, y'all. I, I just want to be myself. I don't want... To be so tied up and watching my favorite YouTubers and all of that, that I feel like I'm them. Like, I'm me. And so, like, I really, I don't know if I should just stop watching. But they're very inspiring and encouraging, you know. And I knew nothing about YouTube before I started watching other YouTubers. But I really need to reflect on Sheena and exactly, you know, me. My own content make it to my own liking and that's when i was mentioning uh glamazon tay because y'all even though she been in the game for a while she doing her thing she's taking trips i see so much authenticity in her like she be herself she be chilling she tell it like it is and i look like i don't know like i i'm kind of new to watching her channel but i love her personality like she herself when she on the trip she be talking to them you know everybody else be like oh which yeah you have to be safe but she be talking to the drivers she be she just be living life like and i love the fact like y'all yeah, know i'm always on myself y'all hardly never see me with friends which is i i'm not gonna say that's good or bad i don't know but she had fun by herself and I just love it. Like she's so outgoing and she so self-driven that she gonna work, she gonna put her stuff out and she gonna keep going, you know? And that's goals for me. That is truly goals. So I just like, yeah, I have to. I was laying in the bed watching YouTube which uh dookie got practice today so like i'm like i don't fit my hair i felt dry i needed to um go ahead and flat iron it out and it, it is better y'all my hair naturally oily so i didn't put no oils on it i just washed it and then i sprayed it with rosemary water that i made a while ago and it had the cat peppermint peppermint oil in the rosemary water um and so i just it's better now but yeah, y'all, so I just really had to hop on her because I'm like, Sheena, where you at? I'm asking myself, where you at? Where you at? You came this far to leave your subscribers just lingering? You know, and I'm like, I ain't doing nothing. Yes, you is. Why the heck you didn't record yourself so y'all don't hurt in? Huh? <laughs> Shoes. I've been doing this for a long time. I ain't got no video. 
of me sewing my hair in. Not one. So I guess next time, <coughs> excuse me, next time I'm gonna have to show y'all. Like, but I want my subscribers to tell me, like, leave a comment. Like, what y'all wanna see on my channel? Like, I'm a mama. Just in case this is your first time watching me, I'm a mama for don't look like it. But I am. I love my children. Um, I'm here in Dallas. Um, I have my passport to travel. I ain't went nowhere. Um, I'm also a nurse. Um, what else? What else should we go about me? Um, so my mom, she passed away. I do a lot of things on my own. I'm self-driven. Um, like, I, I'm so used to figuring out stuff on my own. That's why I'm always by myself. Um, my goals, y'all, I want my channel to be a success. I really do. I really do. I want my channel to be a success. So, I need to get on it. I already know. Y'all, comment down below. Because my prayers to yourself still don't tie down my leave out. So, I'm so happy with my growth. I'm gonna burn it back out if I don't do the right thing. So, yeah. So, oh, another thing y'all wanna start. Y'all probably seen I have lost some weight, which I have. Um, Sometimes I eat better than, I try, most of the time I try to eat better, but I still have some habits I need to break, like gummy candies and, um, yeah, and uh, probably I need to cut out that freaking cream wine. I ain't been drinking it like I usually do because I've been getting stomach aches. But, um, so that's the most stuff like I want to incorporate on my channel. Like, I'm like, okay, it's April. It's almost, shoot, April almost over. But for the month of May, um, I really want to try waist training, um, weights for my arms and back and crunches. Like, I'm not even trying to do no cardio maybe a little bit of cardio but i'm not trying to do no cardio um i'm 169 which is good for me i just need to tone tighten and i'm trying to snatch my waist a little bit more even though i have been looking a little bit of snatch you know i'm not still like my arms you know in my back it can be a little tighter so those are some of my goals i might vlog that y'all can go on that journey with me I said I will start tomorrow, but like my ultimate goal was to, uh, to at least have it one for the whole month of May. So tomorrow is April the 26th. So I may even start tomorrow, start uh, uh, shooting little clips of different stuff I'm doing. I'm going to try to cut out all the candy. Um, not all of my drinking, I can't say that because me and Bae always going out to eat or sometimes I just have a drink to relax. So, I might not cut that totally out, but I will cut it down some and continue to eat my salads. Y'all eat salads almost every day. I did today because on my lunch break, I usually, almost every day, I go to Chick-fil-A and give me a salad. And, like, I'm like, you know what, Shane, you spending too much money. So, I made a sandwich. <laughs> and I usually don't eat sandwiches, but it was, it was all right. But that's all I ate so far today and some freaking candy. So, yeah, I have some changes to make. Y'all, if y'all want to see that journey with me, like, I'm probably going to be doing my measurements tomorrow of my stomach and probably of my arms and then my chest area to measure my back. And, yeah. So, yeah, I got my little hair um, flat iron. I usually kind of put some big curls in it and go. But, yeah, this is what it's looking like. Like, I really, really, really want to oil this area with rosemary oil. But, like I said, my hair is so, um, my hair is so naturally oily. So, I don't want it to, like, thin out, you know. So, really, when I wash it, I just spray it with the rosemary water. And then let it dry like that. So, yeah. So, that's the background of hit of this. My hair, I can tag the Instagram uh, person that I give my uh, hair from. This is Cambonian Raw Straight. And this is in the lens. This is my favorite hair to wear because to me it blends so well with my natural hair. And it even like, when it's frizzy, like it even give a little bit of frizz. Just like natural hair. And it's full of body. 
so yeah so yeah i just want to jump on here you know i was just having a talk with my oldest daughter and you know she was telling me about some stuff that she's not that good in it so i just had to ask her like what are you doing about it you know it is so easy and you know, like i find myself when i talk to other people i'm really talking to myself but i really try to put that into my kids because i want them better than me I want my kids to be better than me. So I'm just like talking to her, but I'm talking to me. And I'm just like, what are you doing about it? You know, like the world don't owe you nothing. I learned that at a, a young age. The world do not owe you nothing. It's going to keep going whether you do or not. So anything that you want in this world, you have to go out and get. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care how 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 long it take like if you want it you have to go out and get it ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing when i lost my mom when i was 19 i had i was so lost like i had just got out of high school when i found out i was pregnant i had her and i lost i had my oldest daughter and i lost my mom and i'm like where did i do now i got a baby i don't know what to do i didn't have a career i didn't have a job i don't even think i had a job but i'm did i have a, i don't think so and i'm just like Sheena, what do I do? I didn't have nobody to be like, come on. No, I'm like, you know what? Time to get on it. From there, I'm like, okay. Time to get on it. And ever since then, I've been trying to look. Every, every child I had, despite what the daddy was doing, I'm like, I got to make sure I have a way for my kids because everybody else is optional. Me, we got, we, we got this. So that's how I got to where I am today. And that's why I say, don't nobody owe you nothing. I could have just sat back in my own poop, but I ain't got nothing on no nothing. My mom need no, no. So that's why I had to tell her. And she was like, okay, I don't care what it is, what it is, whatever you want to do. I said, just like you look up these different hairs, like quit investing in stuff that don't matter. Look into what you need to do. Find out where your weaknesses at and make them stronger. You have to do that for you. And so I'm telling me that. Like, shouldn't get up. Get out this bed. How you gonna tell her? And you ain't posted the video. <laughs> but y'all, that's all y'all. I just want to hop on here and have a quick talk with y'all. And let y'all know I'm still here. Um, I hope y'all follow me on Instagram. I do post on Instagram on my story all the time. If not, uh, my Instagram is Sheena Legale. Y'all follow me on there. Y'all leave a comment down below on what y'all want to see on my channel. I'm going I'm to try to produ produce this content, y'all. Sometimes I be boring, sometimes I be fun. But hey, we in this together. So I just want to say thank all y'all for all y'all support. Thank all of y'all for who continue to rock with me, who subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.